One of the other simple ways to create surface details is to use stencils. A stencil is simply an image that will multiply your brush stroke. So if I go into the stencils tab, and you can use any image here you like. You can import, very easily import your own image, either through the image browser or simply through adding a stencil image here. If you go ahead and click one of the default stencils, just turn it on. You'll actually see by default the stencil visibility is set to 100. And uh, you can actually see the image overlaid on top of your mesh. The hotkey for translating the stencil is the S key. If you use the S and the left mouse button, we'll simply rotate the stencil. Middle mouse button will pan the stencil. And left and middle together, just like the camera, will actually zoom the stencil in and out. And to use it, it's very simple. You just need to brush. So you can see here as I brush, the stencil goes away temporarily, and when I release, the stencil comes back. I can permanently hide the stencil or toggle the visibility on the stencil by pressing the Q key. So there's I'm pressing the letter Q and pressing it again to bring it back. You can set the visibility for the stencil by simply turning down the visibility. These properties here will be available when you select the stencil, or you can go into the object list and there's a stencil node that is there in the scene and you can actually just click that and you'll be able to get back the properties for the stencil as well. We've got some other options there for flipping the stencil, inverting values, and also tiling the stencil. So what that allows me to do, if I turn that on, you can see that the stencil itself has just been tiled. The image that I had there was not tileable, but nonetheless, it, it allows me to uh, just simply brush across the mesh without reaching the border edge of the stencil. I'll just turn that off. And that's a brief introduction to using stencils.